everybody and welcome to my channel today. This is Mark the Tech Guy with Vlogs Weekly number 10. Now this week there's a lot to talk about. As you can see I finally got my Sanyo Xacti camera back. I had to send it in the shop last week because it was giving me some problems with the, uh, the sound. So when I took it, I sent it in and uh, I gotta thank the people at uh, Sanyo Canada here in Woodbridge, Ontario. They, uh, they really took care of me um, when I took my camera in there. They, uh, it was a covered under warranty and they fixed it. They actually fixed it. They couldn't get a hold of me for a few days because I was busy. But uh, when they did finally get a hold of me, they did it all in the same day. And I was able to go in there and pick the camera up the same day. So... I just want to thank Sanyo Canada there in Woodbridge for fixing my camera. And hopefully, they said it was a hinge, it was the uh, the hinge cable. Now there's a hinge cable that goes from the screen that goes into the camera where the microphone is on the flip. So hopefully that doesn't happen again because uh, I got a funny feeling it's going to happen sooner than later because it seems like it's a flaw in the design of the hinge. So, yeah, so that was uh, taken care of. So this week, as you guys well know, there was an announcement, Steve Jobs came out and he realizes that there is indeed a problem with the iPhone 4. I think he was the last one to find out because I think everybody's been telling him all along and he's been denying there's been no problems with this phone this phone is great so now he realizes there's a problem and they've come up with a solution so what's the solution they're gonna put a band-aid on your iPhone 4 what they're gonna do is they're gonna give you a case to put on your phone so it fixes the reception now this is what I say about this I might rant here for a few minutes but that is not fixing the problem. You know, if, if somebody wanted a phone with a case on it, they would buy the phone with the case on it. Some people just like to rock the iPhone 4 naked with no case and maybe just a clear protective uh, film on it. Hey, but, you know, you can't have, you know, the the iPhone 4 dropping calls so they're gonna give you a free case well, that's just that's that's not even they shouldn't even be thinking about that and then he goes on to say well other phones drop calls just the, the same way that this one does well you know what you don't want to compare your company to other companies that are dropping cell phone calls you want to be the one that has the best phone with the least dropped calls but he also said and this is probably the only good thing he said was if you would like a full refund you can get one as long as you haven't had the phone more than 30 days and there is no water damage and that there is no damage on the phone and then you can get your money back for a full refund. And I'm thinking, you know what? I haven't even bought this phone yet, but I am gonna buy this phone. And for him just to come out and say, you know what? We can't fix it, so we're gonna refund your money. I think it's still a little too early to make those decisions saying that we can't fix it, because I'm sure down the road, They'll come with. They'll come up with a, an update or or something. We know there's not going to be a hardware recall anytime soon. So it's going to be interesting because uh, this might affect people that are going to buy the iPhone 4 here in Canada because it's not even released yet. So they're saying the release date is going to be July 30th here in Canada. So. There's no, there's still no pricing plans for this phone. 
and it's like they always wait till a few days before the actual phone is to be released and then they go oh here's the pricing well people would like to know that in advance so they can either save the money or be prepared to spend that much money so and that's rogers and all these other phone cell phone companies they like to see how they can maximize the profit how they can work the plans how they can make more money on these new iphones so that happened last week and you know there's there's a whole this weekend there was the the uh, honda indy i almost said the most indy because it used to be called the Molson Indy, then now and then it was called the Steelback Indy, and now it's called the Honda Indy. It seems like every year there's a new sponsor, so they got to call it. That's the Indy that year. So this year it's the Honda Indy, and you know people uh, are not coming up to these races as, as much as they used to, because one year they actually did not have a race so that was two years ago and after that people just stopped coming they're like hey you're gonna cancel the race on us you know we look forward to going there every year well hey maybe i'm not gonna be a fan anymore maybe i'm just gonna sit at home and watch it or something but the attendance has been down so this year what they did was they announced that on the friday for the quali the qualifyings they would let everybody into the the grounds for free so everybody was able to go in and see these f1 cars racing around lakeshore and through the streets of toronto for free for the one day now this is a good thing because when uh people go to these races most of the time they go just to see the cars and if someone gets to go see them for free maybe they become a fan and if they become a fan then maybe they'll buy tickets and go for the entire weekend and that's that's a good move on their part to to give them a free day and i'm sure it was crazy busy i was thinking of going down but then i'm like now that it's going to be free there's probably going to be a lot of people there and i was watching on the news and there was there was a lot of people there and people liked it they liked it that it was free you get to go down and see all the drivers you know i had the pit pass the one year i went and you go down in the pits and you see the drivers and you see what they're doing and you know i see i, I was there and the year i was there they were giving uh, this one driver was giving one of the kids one of his slicks one of his slick tires and uh he, he hands his kid this tire and it's the, the tire is as big as the kid he gave him one of the rear tires off of one of his cars I guess it was no good they were going to throw it out anyway so you see this kid walking around in the pits with this tire and uh, I think it's nice of them to do that and they were giving away their gloves and that uh, to the kids and it's great you know the kids like that the kids will remember that forever so I thought that was great but uh, yeah the uh, the races went on the weekend and it was very busy it was uh, very packed and it caused a lot of uh, traffic chaos because they had to close down the lake shore and streets that are around so they could have this race so you know it, it's it's a good thing every year it brings in they said i think it's like 20 million dollars a year in tourism just for the most in, in the honda indy sorry see this why this why they shouldn't be changing the name every year change the name every single year next year will be something else toyota indy or something so i just like to thank you guys for watching this is mark the tech guy with vlogs weekly saying please rate comment and subscribe